Okay, so let's look at how to change the filament. What we need to do is go inside here to control, temperature, nozzle, and we're gonna set this up to uh, 200. We need to get this warm enough so that we can, and we'll go up to the main screen here, and we can see on our info screen that it's set to 200 degrees, and it's currently at 27 and climbing. This is our bed temperature over here, but we didn't adjust that. We don't need to adjust the bed temperature yet. Okay, so we're up to 200 degrees. So that means our nozzle should be hot enough. So what we need to do now is pinch here, okay? Because this releases, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's tension. There's a little gear here that drives the filament into the Bowden tube and then ultimately down to the printhead. So to take the tension off, we press this. And then what I would do is just push a little bit through. I can hear it coming out and then pull it through. Now to put new filament in, it's fairly straightforward. First thing we want to do though is put a 45 degree cut on the end of this. Okay, so we got an angled cut. And then we feed it in. It has to go, there's a hole on this end. And then what we do is we pinch again, so we take off the tension. And we've got to feed it into the Bowden tube. You can probably see it going through the yellow color until it's right in the print head. We keep feeding, pushing a little bit through until yellow comes out. We're gonna have to push the, the blue that was in there. We're gonna push that out of there. I'll just keep pushing a little bit more. This. You wanna make sure that you're pushing quite close quite close to the actual print head here. If you push them way back here, you'll just kink the cable. So you've got to keep it fairly close and it takes a bit of pressure. And remember that you've got to always engage that lever so we take pressure off of the drive gear. And if you look from the top down, you'll be able to see that. I'm just gonna use a rag here. You don't want to touch the hot end on this because it would burn you quite quickly. It is very hot. So keep your hands away from the, uh, the nozzle. Okay, we should be ready to print now.